Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a flame or fire effect in Adobe Photoshop CC. Now if you are using an older version of Photoshop you may not have the flame option available but to find out just go up to filter at the top down to render and if you have the flame option visible then you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial. If not you may need to upgrade to the latest version of Photoshop CC. Okay, so to start with, we have our artboard here. I'm going to select the paint bucket tool, and by default, I've got black selected as my foreground color. So we're just going to fill our background with black. And in the layers palette, I'm going to create a new layer and then select the pen tool. Make sure that you have path selected for this next part. And then with our layer one selected and the pen tool, I'm just going to left click on the artboard and then directly underneath left click and hold drag out that curve and then again underneath just single left click and it will automatically complete that curve for you so now we're going to go back up so we can left click and drag that curve out something like this and then if you mouse over the starting anchor point you'll see a little circle next to the pen icon that indicates that we are going to complete the shape so if you single left click, it will automatically complete that last curve for you. So we've created this kind of wavy shape. Now, if you use the path selection tool, that's this one here, you'll be able to move this path around as you like. So for this next part, just make sure that you have the path selected with the path selection tool and we are on layer one. Then you can go up to filter down to render and click on the flame option. Now here is a preview of how our effect will look. So we've got basic settings, which is here, and then we have advanced. So you can click this tab and you'll get a few different options. So you can experiment with lots of different flame types here. For this tutorial, we're going to look at using the one flame along path option. Now for some of these, the sliders will be grayed out and you won't be able to edit them. But for this one, I can adjust the width. So you can see here that it makes the flame effect a lot wider. And you can use this to create varying types of flames or just abstract patterns, depending on what you're looking for. But I'm gonna keep this vaguely looking like a flame for this tutorial. And you can adjust the quality at the bottom here and you can even specify a color. But we'll keep ours standard fire color for now. In the advanced tab, you can adjust how turbulent it is, the jag. So some of these options I'm not actually that familiar with, but as you move the sliders left and right, you will get a good feel for what they affect and how they change your flame. So the opacity, this is a very obvious one. When you bring it all the way up, that's how it looks. And then you drag it all the way to the left and it becomes almost invisible. So I think somewhere around here is probably just about right. You can adjust the flame lines or the complexity. You can get some quite cool patterns here. And then the flame bottom alignment. So again, definitely have a play with these, experiment, try lots of different effects. The arrangement this gives you lots of different flame variations. So this is always a good one to, um, to experiment with, but we'll leave that set at one for now. So we've kind of got this really cool flame shape and there's the flame style. So you've got normal, violent or flat. Let's just try those. Okay, so quite different styles. And then the flame shape. So you can have it an oval, you can have it spread widening towards the top or widening towards the bottom. I think I think we'll go for the bottom one. There we go, pointing. So lots of different options, and when you're happy, you can click OK. And it may take a moment to do, but what it will do is, there we go, we can deselect the path now. So go into your path palette, just make sure you click off that so it isn't selected. And now, we can toggle this on and off. We have that flame effect created on a separate layer. 
And something else we can do actually is, depending on how you're going to use this, you can create a new layer above the background but below the flame. Let's just call this flame just so we don't get confused. And I'm going to select the brush tool. Yeah, there we go. A nice 800 pixel feathered brush. And I'm going to select the foreground color as a shade of orange, I think. Make this even bigger. Let's go up to 1500. Click to paste in that, uh, to draw that big glow with our brush tool and then bring the opacity of that right down and then just bring that up to about there we go 25 and I'll call this layer glow and we've now just given that flame a little glow behind it the kind of glow that you would get from fire against a dark background but there we go that's how you create flames or fire in Adobe Photoshop CC as always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.